Hello everybody. I'm going to try and yell over my um, air conditioner here. Um, I'll try and make this brief. Um, I think people need to hear this and if you take offense that's just too bad. This is the way it is. The armor of God that everybody has inside of them can be called upon just by being a nice person. And if you're suffering with uh, attacks from outside, that is not the armor of God. That's something else. Uh, right now, I'm telling it like it is. True Christians aren't suffering. We're happier than hell. We're full of energy. We're having a good damn day. And that's because we truly have the armor of God. If you got yours on crooked, you know, let me help you straighten it. Seriously. Um, don't let anybody tell you that uh, these electronic waves or anything else is going to bother you. If there's electronic wave from God, let me tell you, it, it is not going to hurt you in any way. Surprise you. I mean, it's familiar. That's your father. That's who you come from. There's nothing alien about it. So somebody tries to tell you different, or if you think you're feeling something different, that's what it is. That's, that is not God. And you can debate this till hell freezes over because it's never going to freeze over, number one. And um, if I'm offending you, I guess I mean to. Because by telling people that um, you're being attacked or something hurts or this, that, and the next thing, and our ears are hurting and whatever. We might hear a slight ringing, but it's not unpleasant. It's oddly annoying, but not unfamiliar and far from painful. There's nothing going on in the ethereal plane at this moment and won't be until uh, Satan and Christ himself come eye to eye, toe to toe, and um, another child of God, the witness, when we're all three talking, then that's when shit's going to go down. And it has nothing to do with anybody else. That's just the way it is. So you can say what you want. Don't care. As far as uh, being different dimensions and stuff, it is so endless. You couldn't call it fifth, sixth, seventh. 17th you couldn't call it you couldn't name it um I'll, I'll go deeper into that another time i i just wanted to touch on this today because i've heard a lot of people say you know well they're worried about this worried about that what the heck you worried about you should be elated you should feel in the air that there's such a happy sense and a happy presence of love i mean you shouldn't at all feel horrible. And if you do, your armor's on crooked, guys, gals. So that's what God's telling this older lady in her heart. I may not be older than somebody, but I'm older than most of you. And I'm not stupid. I'm far from naive. And I already read their plan. So when I see people in certain, and Satan will use anybody and everybody, even if they think their intentions are good and um, hoping to gain from that in any aspect, even the, even the graces of God. I can't earn graces of God by going out there and telling people, ouch this and ouch that. Just don't can't you know um i got arthritis every day in my bones but guess what it doesn't hurt as much as it would because christ carries my pain literally that's what he does for us um and i'll i'll tell you one more time there is no ethereal nothing and that part my sweet ones is all in your head so the war between Satan and Christ is literally going to be a physical one. Straight up, in person, 
together. In fact, when it happens, I'll be filming it. I'll get pictures of them, literally. So um, that'll be coming up by the end of summer. I'll guarantee you that. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the division of Christ. I understand that there's uh, many, many people that have the amount of Christ's blood that it requires to feel close to the Father. I'm not telling you you are not a Christian. I am not telling you you are not a son of God. I am telling you that on some aspects you're mistaken. And um, the same goes with the gals. Like I said, you know, Satan will use anybody, literally, seriously. Um, how he does that is uh, he'll quickly whisper, I'll fix this for you, and then you go to do the mean thing. And you don't even realize it's mean as it's happening till after, and then you justify it on yourself. And that's how it works. It's pretty simple like that. Hope I am speaking up, and um, it's like 101 outside today. It is hideous, really hot. But uh, so I've been in and out of my room, but I just turned the air on now and I got to cool off. <laughs> we didn't have air conditioners for, for years. We didn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of things, but, you know, paying our bills and getting behind and my sons moved back home. We literally moved out of the house and gave them the house and told it just, just, Keep the pipes warm. Don't let them freeze up and break. And adios, we'll, we'll be back. You know, because they were young teenage boys. Well, young men. They were 18 and 21. And I couldn't stand them. They were sickening. So, anyway, so we took off. Literally ran away from the kids for about, let's see, Doug left for two weeks. And then I joined him for a couple weeks. And... So we got a little behind on our bills and put up a credit card and um, I literally um, used my e equity to help my kids. I, I, not a lot of it or most of it, but a lot, quite a bit. And uh, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Back to the armor of God. Don't let anybody make you afraid of the electric that's going on in the air, the plasma that we feel should actually feel like a hug. You should be feeling okay inside your soul like that. And like I said, if I'm, if you're not, something else is going on, you might want to examine that, you know, if you have fear about that. Because fear, there is a saying, nothing to fear but fear itself. Well, I've been uh, beat up by more than uh, three people at a time and uh, actually lots of my life uh, jumped on by several, um, you know, so that's painful. That's a little fearful, but then I learned how to fight and I would take on a hundred now, no problem. But um, anyway, the armor of God is with you. He's not going to let you down and... Like I said, don't let these people out there. I'm not going to call no names. I almost called you a clown. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt to reach a little deeper into yourselves and drop this stuff with the elements. Now, I'm going to touch. No, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to talk about the elements in the crystal skulls and the meaning of that as far as Satan's concerned because none of that has anything to do with God. God's more down to earth and more natural than you would ever believe. So he's always been watching. He never left. He sees through the eyes of all men. So, um, and we know that. Come on, really? I'm not going to name no names, but if the acting doesn't stop, um, you can do it in a more realistic way. Uh, I'll be off your case. If it doesn't, I'm going to do what God tells me to do. And he's like, clean, wash it up. You know, let people know this is the way it is. You can debate that. It's okay with me. But anybody debates what I know is in my heart, what my father tells me, 
is my adversary, and I'd be sorry to see that. So, okay, everybody. Peace and love from Pine City.